What's going on guys? Welcome to today's YouTube video. Before we dive into the video, I want to share with you my goal this year to hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you find today's video useful, you can help me out by just hitting that red subscribe button to get us one step closer to the goal of reaching 10,000 subscribers. I can't do it without you guys, so I'm trying to put out as much great content as I can each week for you in exchange for getting you to subscribe to the channel. So with that being said, help us reach our goal. And now let's go ahead and dive into today's video. In this video, let's talk about the Pinterest search function. So one of the powerful ways that Pinterest can help business owners who are trying to get awareness of their products out there on social media to try to drive traffic back to your store so that you can get more customers, more sales. And Pinterest is powerful because it acts like a search engine. It's not just like social media where you have a feed that you just scroll and hope that people see your posts. Instead, people can actually search out specific content using the search feature. So clicking on this little search icon, it'll pop up a search bar here at the top where we could start typing in different ideas. So let's just say, for example, my niche, I'm in the golf space. I'm trying to build a golf brand. Uh, and so I try to sell golf products on my website. So people might get on Pinterest, uh, you know, that are interested in golf and they might type in golf swing tips, for example. So if somebody typed in golf swing tips into the search bar, they click enter, now Pinterest is going to take that term, golf swing tips, and it's going to try to load the most relevant pins that have been uploaded around that topic. So here we can see this is the list of pins that Pinterest has decided to show. Uh, and we can scroll through here and see if any of them stick out to us that, you know, we're interested in clicking on. So, for example, this one here looks nice. 10 best golf swing tips that actually work. Uh, so this would be a blog article pin. So somebody is linking out to their blog article. Um, and they wrote, you know, the title of the article on top of the image there. That's how we can differentiate, you know, blog pins from just normal pins. Like this one, for example, is just a video pin that doesn't link to anything. Um, so if you're a business, you would want to create these blog style pins that link out to your different blog articles. So as we scroll down here, I can actually see one of mine right away here. The best practice routine to break 90. So again, this is a, you know, a pin that links to my website, golfpracticeguides.com. So we can hover over the link here and click on it and it'll take me off of Pinterest over to the website where somebody could read the article and learn more, you know, about me and about my website. And that could hopefully get them into my sales funnel where I could eventually sell them a product or a service. So uh, that's the, that's the power of the search function, just typing in different search terms up here. Um, if they want to get more refined, like we could have started off with something basic like golf, you know, for example, and it would just bring up general golf. Uh, types of pins but if we realize okay that didn't quite get us you know golf swing tips then we could refine our search and get a little more specific so we just type in you know golf swing golf swing tips golf swing tips for women we could type in golf swing tips for beginners so there's different ways we can get more and more specific and so that's important as well because if you're a business owner you want to think what different keywords are people going to be searching and you can create different articles around those keywords you can create multiple different pins one for each keyword that you can upload. So this gives you a way to diversify and spread out, you know, the possibilities of different terms that you could potentially rank for. So for example, I could create a whole entire pin and article geared towards golf swing tips for beginners. And this could be, you know, a whole different style of article. So that's the power of search. It can help you get found on Pinterest if you're lucky enough to get ranked up here near the top of the page. Uh, like one of my articles, again, is up here near the top for golf swing tips for women. Um, so again, this is going to get more views, more clicks because it's up here at the top of the search results as compared to a pin that's all the way down here where we'd have to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. And maybe we'd never find it because, you know, it's ranking way down the page here. But uh, if it's up near the top, we have a better chance of getting it seen, getting found. And so that's what we're going to talk about in a future video, how to optimize these pins, what you can do to try to give them the best chance possible to rank up here at the top of the page for these different search results. And they can rank for more than one. So for example, golf swing tips for beginners, we might find this article here for golf swing tips for women that's from my website, but we could also probably rank for golf swing tips for women as well. So if we typed in, you know, golf swing tips for women, that would be another search term that we could search. And this same exact pin might show up for that other search return, search result. So, Having your pin optimized for multiple search results is the best way to go. That way, 
if people vary what they type in, your, your pin, your article will still get found. All right, so that's the basics of what the search bar does and how it displays a feed of pin ideas. Then what people will do is they can come in here and click on the red save button and save it to a different board. So they have these different boards on their profile that they've created so they can choose what board they wanna save your pin to. So every time they save a pin to their board, it helps get you what's called a repin. That's a statistic that gets logged in Pinterest. So we're gonna go more over analytics again in another video, uh, but the more repins you get on a pin, the more strength it gives that pin. So Pinterest will see, hey, you know, this pin, for example, has had maybe 100 repins in the last 30 days. That must mean it's an important pin. People like it. And so by having more repins, that gives it more power, more credibility. So Pinterest is more likely to then maybe bump it up the feed so that it ranks higher in the search results. So again, we'll cover more the basics of what you can do to get your pins ranking. Uh, but just know that when you are getting your pins saved, or clicked on, people are engaging with them, they're clicking through your articles, that's also positive signals that it's sending to Pinterest that's gonna help your pins try to get higher up here in the search results so they can get seen by more people and thus get more clicks, more saves, more engagement overall. Now, a few other things to note with the search bar, we can see it says all pins here, this little drop down. We can also change it up and look at just video pins. We can look for people specifically or specific boards. So if I wanted you know, a specific board um, that's geared towards golf swing tips, we could see what types of boards are out there that are based around just you know, golf tips or golf swing tips. Same with profiles. Let's just say you know, we typed in golf as our search term. Now I want to go here and type in you know, people as the category I'm selecting. So we can see specifically what golf accounts exist here on Pinterest, and we can try to follow these different golf accounts. So we can see here Rock Bottom Golf, 16,000 followers. Lori's Golf Shop, 36,000 followers. Uh, my Golf Practice Guides account here that's mine has 9,000 followers. So we can see which ones are big accounts that have lots of followers. And these might be the ones that, you know, get somebody most interested to click on because it's just that herd mentality. Uh, when you see a lot of people already follow an account, you think, okay, that must be an important account. Uh, and that's why it's got so many followers. So that naturally makes you want to follow that account as well. So that's something we're going to talk about again in another video how to get more followers so you can have a higher credibility on Pinterest. People will take your account more seriously if they see that you've got thousands of followers as opposed to you know having five or 10 followers. But the nice thing about Pinterest, it doesn't matter how many followers you have, you can still get thousands and thousands of people clicking through to your website regardless of how many followers you have. So don't take that too personally if your account is small and doesn't have a big following. But having followers does help and we'll get more into that later. All right, so again, search bar, we can type different terms, refine our search, we can see ideas of suggestions that Pinterest automatically kind of auto-fills in here, uh, different boards, different accounts, or we can specifically search out you know, certain types of pins here using this category drop-down bar. All right, so that's the basics I'm covering today in the search bar, uh, how to use it, what it does, how powerful it is to your account, and helping you get found, so that if you don't have a lot of followers, it doesn't matter. You can still get found through the search results and you can still get lots of clicks and lots of saves on your pins. All right, since you made it all the way through today's YouTube video, I wanna share with you an important resource I put together regarding Pinterest. So it's called Pinterest for Business. It's updated every month, so there's gonna be new content coming into this resource library. You can scroll down the page here and you can read through all the sales copy, but I'm not really a salesman. All I care about doing is putting out the best videos that I can put out for you so you can help Teach yourself how to use Pinterest using these training videos. So you're going to get a lot of cool worksheets, different checklists that I start you off with, and a free month of Tailwind. We're also going to go into a lot of the beginner steps starting out, but we're going to get more advanced as well, like how to use your business account to sell things on you know, Etsy or your website or build an email list. I'm going to go over the Pinterest algorithm, how it works, so you can learn how to get more pins to stand out on Pinterest so that you can get more clicks to your website, to your blog, to your products. We're gonna talk about the secrets to creating viral content on Pinterest. I've got a viral pin checklist you can check out here as well. And then we're gonna get into the automation aspect so you can set up scheduling pins with Tailwind to save yourself a ton of time, as well as how to you know manually pin still to get some benefit from manual pinning. 
So overall, there's all kinds of modules here inside of this course that you can use to better your Pinterest knowledge and you know help your business out and get better at marketing on Pinterest. So again, we're adding videos every single month. So this library of videos is only gonna get bigger and bigger and the price is gonna go up with time as well because you know the more content we fill it up with, the more we're gonna need to start charging uh, and so with that being said, go ahead and get the early bird pricing today. You can check out the link below in this YouTube video, or you can go to asknickfoy.teachable.com and just look for this Pinterest for business course. I also have some other courses, so try to scroll through them and find the one for Pinterest.